What's up, man? 25 gamers here. We're taking a look at how to create a defensive scheme uh, in Man 25, and, and this goes back to the five sets for success. This season, I've adapted, and I call it now the five types of plays for success. So, uh, in, 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 in theory, what we have is we have a basic man play, a basic zone play, a basic zone blitz, a basic man blitz, and we have a run defense, and then we, of course, have our base play. So, technically, it would be six, but you get the, the point. And uh, what we look for in a base play, this is what this video is all about. What I look for in a base play is, is a play that doesn't kill me. Um, it's also a play that we can use to adjust out of. Uh, and, and look no further, guys, in the 4-4. We're going to be taking a look at this 4-4 this week. But the main play, this is the base play. The two deep out of it is an absolute monster. And uh, the reason I really like this play is that obviously, you know, 4-4 with the way the pressure sets up, perfectly from this uh, it's certainly very simple to get pressure out of the 4-4 this year men were just crash the line reblitz the linebacker on the side you want it to come from and then I mean you could do your 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 spies or your hooks or whatever you want to do on the back end for the pressure but the, the point is in a base play what we're looking for is and I like zone this season man mainly but something we can adjust out of you know we can make a zone man combination I mean there's no reason we can't like that you know go through cycle through your players make some combination coverages here with you just throw things at your opponent he's not used to seeing but the point is um, in a base play what we look for is something that doesn't get us beat um, too deep does a good job with me using the free safety of not of not giving up a ton of stuff, you know it's not a sellout play. We're not really overloading. I mean, we got five, we have five under two deep coverage, but at the same point, um, we're using a guy. We can always drop him deep if we want to. The yellows play really effectively out of the four four, and then obviously we could put um, these guys on the outside in purple zones by hot routing them to them, and we can quarterback spy this guy. And this is what makes a really good base play because yeah, you're you're not you're not setting up a pressure or max coverage. You're just basic principles. And forcing the offense to kind of fill you out, uh, or forcing the offense to kind of have to b let themselves get filled out, and uh, that's what I really like about the four-four is its ability to you can just play a simple defense, and it may not get a ton of turnovers, but you know what you're getting. You know that the, you know they're not going to get the out routes. You know that they're not going to get the deep streaks. They're going to have to go underneath, and if they're not going to be patient and make their read, you're going to get a sack. And uh, that's what I really like about a base play this year. Uh, and also, guys, a base play is something we like to look for that is in a formation that can somewhat be decent against the run. I mean, 4-4 has 8 in the box, and we have the safety over top. So if they were to run the ball, I mean, as you can see, uh, if they run the ball, we just flow to the outside and make a tackle. Um, it's not our sellout run defense by any means, but it's that it's like something that you can use to always have a shot to stop whatever you want to whatever your opponent's going to throw at you. Um, Obviously, that area right there is open if you don't protect it with your user defender. That's why we use the middle safety. Um, certainly, certainly is very important to rec understand your weakness in a base play uh, so that you know where you're going to get beat deep, if you're going to be deep or wherever you're going to get beat from. So here I recover deep, and then you can just work on your baiting skills. And, and defense is a lot simpler than offense, and at the same time it's a lot more complex than offense this season. Um, and we're going to get more into that as the week goes on. But just remember, guys, base formation is something you can use to stop the run, stop the pass. Uh, or actually, let me rephrase that. Something you can use to contain the pass and contain the run. You know, it's not going to be great against either one. Uh, but it's going to allow you to fill the defense or fill the offense out and kind of figure out where they want to go. So that's the base formation, guys. And uh, that's just something that we're going to be doing this week for the scheme of the week. We're going to be talking about what it actually is. And uh, that's my 4 4 2D base play. And we're going to come back tomorrow and talk about the base man coverage, when we like to use the base man coverage, why we like to use the base man coverage and uh, what you need to look for. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you like this content. Also, if you are subscribed, be sure to share the video on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.